Bridget, that was a heck of a first quarter. You guys shoot nearly 64% from the field, 10 assists, only one turnover. Um, how big is that last out of just one turnover and the ability to finish each possession with a shot and, you know, quality looks there in the opening 10 minutes? Um, I mean, that's what, that's what every team wants. They don't want to turn the ball over. And so, I mean, that just kind of shows – where this team is headed, obviously, the score kind of showed that we were a little bit above their Belmont Abbey's level. But uh, like Jordan said, this was a really good icebreaker to really start the season, just kind of build some confidence and just uh, help us keep our head and know what we need to work on for Ohio. Uh, how much does playing at home help you guys? Because you guys seem to be unbeatable here at Liberty Arena over the last year or so. I don't, I don't want you to jinx it, but uh, our, our home court advantage seems to be pretty good. Um, we do have some really hard, tough competition this upcoming season, but um, if we can pull off undefeated at home again, it will be, it will be incredible. Bridget, when I talked to you in the preseason, I you know, asked you about the post play this year, and uh, just looking at tonight's stat, uh, the four of you, you, Maya, Jordan, Bella, go 18 for 18 for 20, some, 26 or something and shoot really well, get 20-some um, rebounds. Is that the type of production that you want to see on a daily, daily basis from all of you? Absolutely. I mean – I'm gonna hold. I'm a post player, so I'm gonna hold us to a really high standard, and uh, like I think that should be the minimum. Like I think we should we could do better, and we should do better. But today was a great, great first game. Uh, Bridget, not only did you guys do well in the post, but you shot really well, especially you from three point. I think you were perfect from there. Um, how much, how important is that to your game? Getting those some of those outside shots. In? Um, yeah, the three-point line and shooting shooting behind that is extremely important, especially with Coach Green's emphasis on post play because if you're guards and, I mean, if, if you can't shoot behind the three-point line, then that allows the defense to really cave in on the post players and it closes things up for Maya and closes up drives. So if we can score from outside the three-point line, that's just going to help expand their defense, make more gaps, more lanes for drives. And so, yeah, it, the three-point line has de definitely been something that we've been working on, and, like, especially with it moving back a couple inches, a few inches. Uh, everyone's really been working on their three-point shot. Anything else for Bridget? Uh, I've got one more. Okay. Um, so... You were able to see a lot of your teammates play tonight, uh, get really deep into the bench. Um, it's fun to play, but how cool was it to see some players get some opportunities to kind of prove themselves on the court? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I wish I was playing, but to see them get time, and they all got a decent amount of time today, it was, it's just so exciting because you see how much, like, how hard they're working each day, putting in so much effort and so much time. And so to finally get to see them get some time and to enjoy playing basketball in a game. It's, it's really awesome. And I couldn't be happier for them. I want them all to score, all to get steals, like everything. And so it was, it was a really cool experience 